These have become familiar scenes in the Nicaraguan capital of Managua. Armed riot police arriving in force to crack down on protesters, themselves carrying homemade devices and taking aim at symbols of the government of President Daniel Ortega. In this case, the officers of Radio Ya, a pro-government radio station. The government's crackdown on dissent has killed dozens of people and injured hundreds more. State violence not seen in Nicaragua since the overthrow of the Somoza dictatorship almost 40 years ago. It began in mid-April, with people demonstrating against biting new changes to the country's social security system after years of alleged corruption by government officials. That soon morphed into calls for Ortega and his wife, Vice President Rosario Murillo, to step aside. The former Sandinista leader has been in power for years, first in 1979 for 11 years, and then again from 2007. Protesters accuse him of creating a system designed to keep him in power, to choke any real opposition voice, and to give the president control over Congress, the courts, and the military. The violent response has, has, has taken, I think, a lot of people, including some Sandinista supporters, by surprise, and, and a very unpleasant surprise. But uh, I mean, quite a number of people in Nicaragua say there's always this potential. If anybody tried to actually confront the government at any time, they, they, would, they would crack down hard. Talks mediated by the Catholic Church, traditionally a supporter of Ortega, faltered last week, with church leaders unusually critical of the government. One of the stumbling blocks has reportedly been resistance to electoral reform, including the call from protesters and the Organization of American States for early elections. Ortega and his wife won elections in 2016 by a landslide that critics say was the result of limits on opposition participation. On Monday, the church invited parties back to the table, but with a warning. If there is a will among the parties and they progress, the church will always be there. But if the dialogue is meaningless, people don't work together, then we won't be able to continue. Ortega and his wife have shown no sign of stepping down. But the level of state violence over more than a month has prompted open opposition from those that Ortega relies on. First, the church and most recently the military, which has signalled it will not join efforts to stop demonstrations. Miriam Nahond, Al Jazeera.